How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, give you another gameplay commentary. Today we're going to be talking about if MCC can make a comeback to the multiplayer sphere, much like say, I, like maybe like a Rainbow Six Siege kind of did. Where uh, we, you know, we definitely know that Rainbow Six Siege had a really rocky start, but now it's one of the top five most played FPS games right now on the market. And, you know, with MCC, had a really bad start and was just kind of left to die. But now, recently, there was an update from 343 talking about how they're actually making a select team. They hired brand new people to come on to do strictly legacy patching work kind of thing. So anything it would do probably with Halo 5, with, with the upcoming game of Halo 6 coming around the corner. Uh, you know, you're still probably going to need some updates for Halo 5. You know, probably mainly when it comes to cheating or anything, any bug that may arise with that game. And so, they're but, but they're mainly focusing on the MCC. That's their main focus right now. And so, uh, I will link in the description full notes and the full update. If you guys want to go into great details about this, I'll just be kind of talking about the keynotes of that post and giving my thoughts on what maybe 343 needs to do to make MCC a potential revival come back up much like what happened with uh with Rainbow Six Siege and it was even possible for something like that to happen for this game uh because we all know this game didn't release and the best situation and was kind of left to die but not until october when they announced that they were going to take time and effort to go in and patch and fix this game which is going to be absolutely huge they basically created a legacy strike force team to for just just the patch the mcc a lot of networking uh, coding that needs to be done with this game to make it so the multiplayer is fully functional. Right now, you can play the single player just fine, really. Uh, I mean, you might have some issues with losing, uh, if it ever gets updated, you may have some issues with losing progress on your campaign or maybe some achievements. But, but you know, for mainly though, you can play the campaigns, it doesn't crash, it plays rather well, which is all I really ask for. I don't really care much for the uh, achievements, but you know, a lot of people do as well. And I know that when they had a lot of hard resets with with the MCC that they had to clear out achievements because like this game is so screwed up we had to do something and so back to the topic though about the uh, patch right here it's talking about how uh, right now what they're gonna be looking into is a lot of uh, UI fixing which caused a lot of issues with players connecting with each other and also nap fixes as well basically trying to cure the issue of I can connect to this guy but I can't connect to this other guy that's in the same party I mean I ran into this recently when I actually had like a little bit of a LAN party at my, my friend's house we're like let's play some Halo 2 classic man I'm like hell yes bring back some of those member berries and have a good time thing was though for some reason, when we tried to put up a custom game on the same network, uh, we of course we had to go through the Xbox Live, which is a whole other story right there. But uh, we were able to connect to a few people. We had to join off of, say, me, where I'm sitting right next to these people connected to Xbox Live, but they couldn't join through my friends for some reason. So they're going to look into fixing that issue as well. They're also looking into updating the XDK and the APIs for Halo, uh, the MCC, because uh, there's a lot of things that have changed right now with the new infrastructure of uh, matchmaking and internet processing that's with uh, in the, in the main scheme of things when it comes to uh, the Xbox platform and so they're looking to make a lot of changes to the engine each engine that runs in this game which are eight, a total of eight different engines that run on the MCC because there's Halo Classic, Halo 1 Classic, there's Halo 1 Anniversary Halo 2, Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, and then you have Halo 4, and Halo 2 Anniversary Multiplayer Engine. So, and they have to make one change to all eight of these engines. So it's a big process, a big undertaking, so I can totally understand why they need some extra time to figure this out and maybe kind of start understand why this game was such a hot mess. But what would 343 need to do to bring back the population of this game? Because obviously, there has to be some reason why they're going in now to fix a, probably by the time a patch comes out, a four-year-old game. And that honestly might just be because they think that potentially that uh, MCC can have a rise of popularity, much like games like Rainbow Six each has, or maybe even now like with The Division or kind of like what happened with Destiny 1, where, you know, the first uh, year or two of that game, those games, 
not really the best and we're kind of you know going to be left for dead but since developers took time and effort to stay, keep the game relevant keep patching it keeping the game up to date and also releasing new content to keep people excited about it we're doing you know free to play weekends with you know, discounted prices of the game that's a potential that you can raise the popularity of this game obviously there is a lot that needs to be fixed and changed around before you can really advertise this game as something that could be marketed to people to gain the popularity to get people back into playing Halo because it seems to be the general consensus of a lot of people that they miss out on that classic feel of Halo and that it's Halo may have lost its identity a little bit by trying to stay up to date with the new mechanics that have been brought say like in the Halo 5 to make the game feel more like a mo modern day shooter. So I would say the main thing what they need to do is re completely rework the playlists in the MCC uh, I think that you honestly would just have to give players, let players be able to do what they want to do for each uh, individual game. Maybe if you only want to play Lone Wolves in Halo 3, well, you can do that. Because right now you can't. And it's tough because that means you're going to divide up the player base a lot. But a lot of times we came with the issue with this game of having people, you know, say joining a Team Slayer playlist. But, you know, whenever a Halo 4 map gets selected, a lot of people drop out of the match and it's just not fun to play. So it's hard to really make a, a cohesive um, matchmaking experience with a game like the MTC. It's possible, but it's not the, the easiest to say the least. Uh, that's why I think what the uh, whole idea of the Halo 2 Anniversary multiplayer playlist was is that this is kind of like the main focus of this, but you can also do this in this game as well kind of thing, which all for that. So. Mainly we have to get a rework of the playlist to give players what they want. You probably also have to rework Forge if you want to make that into an actual thing. Get the Halo 5 quality uh, style of Forge, I would say. Um, custom server lobbies will be much needed. They actually mentioned it in this uh, update, saying that with the new infrastructure of matchmaking for the Xbox platform, that's, that's, that's why things like a custom lobby server uh, search was p possible because of these new updates and now they can possibly bring this over to MCC which would be absolutely amazing I'd love to play some classic fat kid back in Halo 3 I absolutely love that or even the original feels of the first version of zombies back in Halo 2 in that community game just things like that so a lot of potential with this and of course obviously the 4k update that will probably come out is probably one of the first things that come out for this game and so that would have to be a huge thing. And also you would have to get new content. You have to do something to make people want to come back and play this game. Some new experience that they did not have at all before. And there would have to be new content. Either a new game, maybe bring Halo Reach to the MCC. The same, just throwing it out there. I mean, they did that with ODST, just throwing it out there. Or yeah, create you know new maps to play on, uh, implement some new Forge maps or something like that. Some way to kind of involve the community a little bit with this game. Um, so there is potential for it to be revived. Now, can I get to the level of, say, a Rainbow Six Sieges? Maybe not just because the game is, these are old games that are remastered into uh, a new platform. But right now this game is, what, almost, it's probably four years old by the time it gets its first actual patch. So, I'm looking forward to the updates. It would probably get a lot of people back into playing those classic Halo feels. And, you know, if it revives the game, I'm all for it because we need more people playing Halo, man. Because Halo is a unique game, unique franchise that no other game is like. And that's why I love playing this franchise so much and stuck with it throughout the decades that's been available. <laughs> but yeah, so let me know in the comment section down below, guys, what you think about this video. Do you think the MCC has the potential to be revived, much like, say, like a Rainbow Six Siege where... You know, it's be maybe like even the top 10 most played games on the Xbox platform. Well, potentially, you know, we have to see how well these patches come out and we we'll see maybe if they bring in some new content and things like that that would really help revitalize this game because MCC is a Halo player's dream in one package. It was just the execution was absolutely awful. So let me know in the comment section down below, guys. If you enjoyed these kind of videos, please make sure to tap that like button. I greatly appreciate it. Let me know if you want to see more content like this. Subscribe if you want to see some more content whenever I do any kind of live streams or upload any videos. You can always do that. No, next time it happens by clicking subscribe, we'll keep you up to date with all Halo 5 and MCC news next, if anything comes out for that. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time to click on this video. I'll catch you all in the next video. Click at the videos on the screen right now for some more content for me. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.